What's good, y'all? It's your big homie Ray, the hood wine connoisseur, and I'm back again with another Wednesday wine review. Just something new for y'all to try out. I decided to go out and be a little adventurous and see if I can't find something that's a little bit out of the ordinary for, you know what I'm saying, our little wine meetups, you know what I'm saying, on Wednesdays. You and me, me and you drinking wine together. So, what I thought I'd do, I was perusing the Target aisle. I probably should have caught this on Instagram. Uh, on my Instagram story. I need to start doing that for y'all, letting y'all see how I decide on what wine I'm gonna review on Wednesdays. But uh, I was walking down Target aisle. I was actually trying to go grocery shopping so I can cook for the week, so I can be budget Ray instead of uh, just out here spending money all willy nilly. All y'all get on the budget. I told myself that I was gonna be on the budget January and I have failed so far. But we are gonna get it right. So I was perusing. I saw that Target didn't have any of the frozen foods or the, uh, the the perishable foods out because they were going through some power outages and they didn't want to sell us the food just in case it was bad they didn't want to get sued all that kind of good stuff so i was upset went to the wine now because i didn't want to go to the store uh empty-handed come out the store empty-handed and decide to go get a wine and i happened to see these bad boys these i guess are a mixture of box wine and Gatorade pouches. It looked like you're gonna be drinking these. These are the, the fun pouches for parents. You know, they got the Capri Suns for the kids. Here go the Capri Suns for the parents. They are called Wine Cube. They are box wine cartridges. Uh, there's three glasses per pack of these. Uh, this is five ounce. Oh, if, if each glass is five ounces, this is three two glasses. That's not too bad, right? The 300 calories. This is a Sauvignon Blanc. This is a Pinot Grigio. Uh, the Pinot Grigio is saying that it's giving aromas of green apple and citrus, which I love. Uh-oh, can't drop the product, huh? And then the Sauvignon Blanc uh, says it's giving off aromas of honeydew, melon, and citrus. I'm not a real big fan of honeydew. Even the honeydew sound like it's supposed to taste good, but it really don't taste all that great. On the back it says, I'm delicious. Chill out with tropical passion fruit aromas, honeydew might, honeydew melon flavors, and pops of zippy lime. Sip in the sun with seared scallops, creamy goat cheese, tart, and citrus salads. Hmm, interesting. I'm simple. Who needs a corkscrew? This convenient packaging features a twist cap for easy on the go opening and closing, it looks like. And if you're not super thirsty, you can screw the cap back on and save some wine for later. Like I said, three glasses of wine is bad boy. You take this out to the little park when you, for my parents out there, when you know what I'm saying, you taking kids out for soccer practice or baseball practice or whatever they, you know what I'm saying, practice. You can pop this thing out, ain't nobody gonna know. It kind of look like that little, uh, that little Jaden Smith water bottle thing. So you can really just, you know what I'm saying, keep your hand over that. And, Sip this and ain't nobody gonna know that you have to sipping a little bit of wine and get a little, you know what I'm saying, take a little edge off. I'm portable, so you pop this anywhere, you know what I'm saying, take it to the beach, to the pool. Um, I don't know why you be drinking wine on the mountains, that's quite dangerous. Uh, I'm lightweight, shatterproof. Ain't no more of them, you know, devastating moments when you have your wine glass, I mean your wine bottle in your bag, your grocery bag, and that thing drop. And you have that uh, that look of doom on your face when you wine all over the floor. Now you don't want to go back to the store, but you wanted some wine. Now you just frustrated. Ain't none of that with the little box wine. Uh, I'm award winning. Sourced from premium California vineyards. Our wines offer exceptional quality and value. No wonder we've won 300 plus awards. Not to brag, but you know what I'm saying? Humble brag. Humble brag. Uh, so it looks like this. Wine brand Wine Cube is trying to make wine fun, accessible, and easy to drink. So, you know what I mean? Take a look right there. Let me see if I can get you in focus. There you go. Wine Cube, Sauvignon Blanc. Nice, pretty colors. This is for people who like to be all pretty and cute and stuff like that. Uh, does this one say anything uh, different? No. Looks like it's the same thing. But yeah, it has a little corkscrew for you to, for easy opening and closing. I popped them in the refrigerator for a couple minutes just so they can get a little bit chilled. And I'm gonna drink this thing like one of them power pouches that they used to show in the 90s. So let's go ahead and pop the bad boy open, see what it look like, see what it tastes like. Hold on. Mmm. This something on Blanc really does smell like honeydew and some citrus. It really, it smells good. Yes, yeah, sir. This look like it's gonna be sweet. Let me see. I wonder if they got the little, no, they don't have a little, um, ingredients on here i don't know what let's see do they have an alcohol by volume on here no no they probably do no vintage date look like 13 percent alcohol um 
it tells you that it's a medium dry so it gives you the the little description on the bottom out you know what i'm saying show y'all at the bottom if I, if I can get it boom boom tells you a little bit about the wine is medium dry and anything else on here that needs to be talked about uh trinchero family estates is this is what is bottled by those are the people that is bottled by um it's a target brand that's cool storing cool dry places all right cool let's get to the taste now i can just drink this without a glass or anything i really like the fact that it's the form factor is cool you know what i mean so let's see what it's talking about That's a no for me, dog. No, uh, let me get one more taste. Hell no. Huh. It tastes like it tastes like lemon water. <laughs> the thing tastes just like you get the tap water at the restaurant and drop some lemon and lime in there. That's what it tastes like—just straight lemon water. It's not even. This right here, you take this just to get drunk. I probably the 13 percent get you nice and toasty, but I mean, I guess it's refreshing. Probably on the hot summer day, it'd be refreshing. It's cool to drink though. Hold on, as I drink it more and more, it's starting to get a little tantalized on my tongue. It's not really that dry. It's it's kind of sweet. It's juicy, but the flavor is off. I ain't gonna lie to you, this thing fun to drink though. <clears throat> if you just like something young blanc, I say go for it. This is not really not my favorite. It's cool, but this, hey, I gotta enjoy drinking these little things. Let me see what this, see what the Pinot Grigio tastes like. Pop that bad boy open. It tells you that it's best enjoyed July, oh, by July 2020. That ain't too bad. That's a nice little, wait a minute. Now, the little Ford and all broke up in, see, they already fooling around. The Ford broke up inside of it. Y'all probably won't be able to see it, but let's go and see what it tastes like. Y'all, these things just alcohol water. <laughs> this ain't even, this ain't even, look, let me just tell y'all the truth. I, should, I probably should have got the red, the red ones, but this also a medium dry, this Pinot Grigio. These both of these things taste exactly the daggone same. They say like citrus, alcohol water. You can't even really taste alcohol that much in the no, no, you gotta take these for party. This is what you take when you don't like somebody to a party. You go to the party, they tell you to bring something. You're like, oh yeah, I brought some wine and a little. Yeah, this is fun, funny to bring, but it don't, it ain't. And they five dollars a piece. I ain't gonna lie to you. Well, I get five dollars for three glasses of wine. Does that make sense? Five dollars for three glasses of wine. Yeah, I guess it makes sense. I'll drink these if it's at like a party and somebody brought these, like a twelve pack of these. And they brought them and they were just there chilling on the ice. I drink them. But as for far as something to impress somebody or to come home to and pop one of these open, no, nah, big fella, you'd be wasting your money and your time drinking these. But I mean, it's fun. It's a nice little party drink. I say, if you want to enjoy these, don't try to drink this with no food. Don't try to bring this out on a date. Don't try to impress nobody. Hey, look, I got some little box wine. Don't, don't do that to yourself. Just take these to a party, like a cookout or something like that. Have these there just in case somebody want to drink some wine and don't want to bring no glass or there's no glasses available or you know there won't be no glasses available. Take these. These will be cool. They got a bunch of different uh, varieties, uh, great varieties uh, on there. But as far as just a good wine, it's it's flavored it's flavored alcohol water. So, do I recommend these parties only? I think it's cool, a cool little concept. The wine got to get better though. But uh, they seem to be fun to drink. I am, I'm going to finish this. I'm getting a little toasty tonight. But other than that, uh, I'm gonna try, I'll probably try the uh, the red wines of these, the YQ, and see what those taste like. But the Pinot Grigio and the Sauvignon Blanc is uh, Sauvignon Lane. Both of these is just Lane, so. Uh, <sighs> Yeah, man, take this for a party. And you know what I'm saying? Don't take it nowhere else. Just when you go, when you headed to the little pool party, stop at Target, don't get a bottle of wine, grab these bad boys and take them on to the party. Everybody, oh, that's cool, oh, that's dope. They probably gonna talk about you behind your back and say this is some weak ass wine, but <laughs> you be all right. So, like I said, y'all, it's your big homie Ray. 
the hood wine connoisseur. I probably need to figure out a tagline. Somebody help me figure out a tagline in these videos. But follow me on the hood wine connoisseur at, at the hood wine connoisseur on Instagram, the hood wine connoisseur on YouTube. Uh, I'm still just Ray on uh, Facebook. I really got to do something about that. But in due time, website is probably going to come uh, February or March. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I need to get. I need a photographer. So anybody out there that's a photographer that want to help your boy out, send me your, your information. I'll uh, check your stuff out to see if I want to use you or not. And if I tell you, if you send me your stuff and I don't say anything back, that means I don't like your stuff. So just be be forewarned. And um, this is your weekly wine review. And your boy is out. Bung. I'm out of here. <laughs>